This is Ms. Black, and this is Open Campus Math 102, and we are now in Module 10, and this will be broken into two parts. In this module, we have two more definitions to learn. Our definition today is called a one-to-one -one function. Now, we've already heard the word function before, so this is going to go more in-depth which what, what it means to be a one-to-one -one function. So let's go back to our notes, please. So if you look at Module 10, we have to define some vocabulary words. The first word we want to go back over is what the word function means. So the definition says a one-to-one -one function is a function in which each y value in the range is associated with only one x value in the domain. The key word underlined is function. So we got to go back to previous modules and make sure we understand of what the definition of the word function meant. Remember we talked about it with sex? We said a function meant every girl can only date one boy. So in the math world, the girls are the X's, just like the X chromosome. The boys are the Y's, just like the Y chromosome. So in math, to be a function, that means every X value can only be paired up or matched up with one Y value. Every girl can only date one boy. We said every girl had to be different. So if you look down at my first example here, f of x equals, you'll see three ordered pairs, three points, three relations. All those words mean the same thing. The first thing we got to decide is, is this a function? So if it's a function, every girl, every x, has her own boyfriend, has one boyfriend. So our x values are 1, 2, and negative 2. We have three different x values, three different girls, and they each have their own y value. It doesn't matter what the y values are, we have three different girls. So this is a function. So to even be one to one, you got to first make sure you have a function where all the x values are different. Now, it says to be a one to one function, not only do the x values, the girls, the domain have to be different, but it says each y value in the range is associated with only one x value. So that means every y value also has to be different. So our definition of one-to-one -one function is very specific. To be a one-to-one -one function, the x values all have to be different. That makes it a function. But the y values also have to be different, and that makes it one-to-one. -one. So again, if you look at this example, what are your y values? Your y values are 4, 3, and 4. Are they all different? No. The 4 repeats. So because the 4 repeats, even though this is a function, it is not 1 to 1. So it's very important that you understand we are being very specific with, it, with this word function. We're now saying what makes a function 1 to 1. To be a function, all the domains, all the x values, all the girls have to be different. To be a one-to-one -one function, not only do the x values have to be different, but all the y values, all the ranges, all the boys have to be different. Because in this example, that y value 4 repeats, this is not a one-to-one -one function. It is a function because the x values are different, but it's not one to one. Okay, let's go to the whiteboard and try some examples. Okay, so if you look here, I have four ordered pairs, four points, four relations. All those words mean the same thing. What I want to know is if this is a one to one function. First of all, we got to make sure we understand what the word function means. The definition of function means every x value is different. So let's look at our x values. Our x values are 6, 4, 3, and 8. Are they all different? Yes. So this is in math considered a function. Every domain, every x value is different. Now to be 1 to 1, it also means the y values have to be different. They cannot be a repeating pattern. 
So let's look at our y values. Our y values are negative 5, 2, 1, and 4. Are they all different? Yes, they are. So we would call this a 1 to 1 function. There is one of every x value, that's what makes it a function. There's one of every y value, that's what makes it 1 to 1. Okay, our second example is the bubbles, the mapping. Remember, the first bubble is your x values. The second bubble is your y values. If you would like to write these as ordered pairs, I would do so. So our first x value is 2, and it is matched with the y value 13. Our second x value is 3, and it is matched with the y value 25. Our third x value is 4, and it is also matched or mapped with the y value 25. So from this mapping, we have three ordered pairs. We want to know if this is a one-to-one -one function. So the first thing we have to do is go over what is the word function. In math, function means every x value, every domain is different. So let's look at our x values. Our x values are 2, 3, and 4. They are all different. So this is a function. Now, is it one-to-one? -one? One to one means all the y values would be different. Well, let's look at our y values. 13, 25, 25. Are all your y values different? Nope. We have a repetition here. So even though this is a function, it is not one to one. And that's what we're talking about. To be a one to one function, not only all the x values, the domain is different, but all the y values, the ranges are different. Now it's easy to see that when we have the ordered pairs, the points listed. But now let's go and talk about this if we have a picture, a graph. So let's go back to the notes. So now that we understand what the definition of one-to-one -one function means, and we know how to tell if it's one-to-one -one if we have all our domains, we see all our x values, and we have all our ranges, we see all our y values. Well, as we've seen in college algebra, not all the time are you just listed the ordered pairs, the points, where you could physically see all the x values and y values to compare if they're the same or different. Most of the time in college algebra, we are looking at graphs. So if you look up here, I'm going to go through, how do you tell if a graph is a one-to-one -one function? Well, again, if you recall what we did in the previous modules, to tell if a graph is just a function, we did something called a vertical line test. Because if you draw a vertical line through your picture, your graph, it should only touch in one spot, which would prove there's only one x value for each ordered pair. Each ordered pair has a different x value. Well, because we want to prove a function is one to one now looking at a graph, we're more concerned about the y values. So to tell if the y values are going to be the same or different, we're not going to do a vertical line test. We're going to do what you think is the opposite. We're going to do a horizontal line test. So everybody look here at the first graph. It's some crazy curve. And I want to know if this is a one-to-one -one function. First thing you got to make sure is, is it a function in the first place? So to tell if that picture is a function, you would draw a vertical line down it somewhere on the left or on the right so it touches the blue graph and if you drew that vertical line you would notice it only touches the blue graph in one place which means it's a function every x only matches one y now to prove if it's one to one you want to make sure the y values are not repeating so to tell if a function is one to one by looking at the picture the graph you now draw a horizontal line through it and if you look that pink horizontal line touches the graph of that curve in one, two, three places. That means three of three y values are repeating. Well, if the y values repeat, it cannot be one to one. So this is not a graph of a one to one function. It is a function because it passes the vertical line test, but it's not one to one because it fails the horizontal line test. Okay, let's look at the next picture. Again, you have some crazy blue curve. 
I know you've never drawn that by freehand. That's okay. We're going to decide if that blue curve is a function and then decide if it's one to one. Instead of sitting there and trying to list every point, every ordered pair, and look at all the x values and look at all the y values to see if they're the same or different, we have this cute, quick little shortcut. To tell if that blue curve is a function, we would do the vertical line test. We draw a line straight up and down and make sure it only touches in one place. So if you all visualize drawing a line straight up and down, it would only touch that blue curve in one place. That picture is a function. Now, is it one to one? Which means every y value will be different. The opposite, to tell if it's one to one, you're not going to do a vertical line, you're going to draw a horizontal line. So if I draw a horizontal line through that blue curve, if you look, I drew it up at the top at y is one. It only touches the curve in one place, which means this function is one to one. If I drew that horizontal line down below, where I did below, it's at y is negative 2. Again, when that horizontal line touches the blue curve, it only touches in one place. So this is a function because it passed the vertical line test. It's also a one-to-one -one function because it passes the horizontal line test. Okay, let's look at the last picture. The last picture is a sideways parabola. Again, the question is, is this a one-to-one -one function? Again, instead of you listing every point on that curve and looking at the x values and the y values, the domains and ranges, and trying to see if they repeat or not, we're going to do these two tests. To test if this is a function, you draw a vertical line straight up and down. If it's a function, it can only touch in one place. Well, look at my picture. When I draw that vertical line straight up and down, it touches this sideways parabola in two places. Therefore, this is not a function. Well, if it's not a function, then it's also not one-to-one. -one. So we don't have to worry about doing the horizontal line test. Because if you fail being a function, then you can't be one-to-one. -one. So this is a graph of something that is not a one-to-one -one function. Okay, let's go to the whiteboard and try some examples. I have here a curve drawn. I want to know if this is a one-to-one -one function. So first of all, let's talk about the word function. To be a function, every x value is different. To show that every x value is different, you would draw a vertical line. And if that vertical line only touches the curve once, it's a function. So sure it does. It only touches the curve once. This is a function. Now that it's a function, we can worry about is it one-to-one. If it's one-to-one, -one, we're supposed to draw a horizontal line. And that horizontal line can only touch the curve once. Here's the curve in purple. Here's the horizontal line. It's only touching once. So this is a function that is one-to-one. -one. This proves every x value on this curve appears once. This proves every y value on this curve appears once. Okay, look at the bottom graph in orange. It's some crazy curve. First of all, is it a function? Well, to be a function, every x value has to be different. What we do in a picture, a graph, is we do the vertical line test. If I draw a vertical line, how many places will that line touch the orange curve? It touches once. So we prove that this is a function. Now, is it one to one? which means is every y value different? Well, you can't list every point on here. So to show if all the y values are different, you draw a horizontal line somewhere through that curve. And you count. This horizontal line touches the curve once, twice, three times, four times. That means whatever this y value is, whatever this number is for y, it's repeating four times. Well, that means it cannot be one-to-one. One. This is not one-to-one. One. And that's why the horizontal line test is important. So overall, what we learned today is a definition for the word function. If you have a function, which means every x value is different, then you could talk about if that function is one-to-one, one, which means every y value is also different. 
we can look at the points and look at the X's and Y's and see if they repeat or not. Or we can look at a graph and do a vertical line test to prove if it's a function and do a horizontal line test to prove if it's at one to one. Okay, I'll see you in the next module. Thank you.